Hi, and uh, welcome once again to a new lesson uh, about spatial statistics in R. In this lesson, I will show you how to perform uh, a cock rigging using the package gstat in R. Um, for this lesson, I will use uh, um, the dataset Muse available uh, within the package gstat. Uh, however, I will not use uh, um, the original dataset, uh, but I will use uh, um, a, a table extracted by the dataset with just the, the lead uh, value and the coordinates and a column with the ID of each uh, row. Plus, uh, of course, a shape file with uh, the border of the area to show you how to create uh, a prediction grid and uh, a Nashi grid with the zinc values uh, uh, from the original data set. I created uh, the Ashi grid myself with a, a simple inverse distance interpolation of the original data. Uh, all these data are available within the package gstat and at the end of the script there are uh, references about how to where to find uh, those data and um, where to find more information about them. So we can just start R and uh, R commander. The data file and the script file are available uh, in the home page of the course, so uh, let's just open the script file, which in my case it is on the desktop. Script. So now uh, this is the, um, the script for performing the co-rigging. The um, first four lines are for importing uh, uh, the necessary packages, so we can just submit those lines. The first part of the script is uh, uh, very similar to the previous script, so I will just uh, uh, follow very quickly the line without uh, uh, losing too much time. So uh, the first thing to do is set the working directory. In my case, because it's on the desktop, I can just copy and paste the address of the folder here and double the slashes. And submit a line, as you can see, I submitted. Now I can read the table, convert it to a data frame, to a spatial data frame, sorry, uh, given the coordinate system, then load the shape file and give it the given the coordinate system and the hash grid and give it the coordinate system. Now I can uh, plot uh, the, my data, so I can just submit this three line with uh, the, the grid and the, the, the data observation and the border. As you can see here, you have your image, or you can use the function spplot and obtain this image over here, which is a little bit nicer. So now we can uh, uh, submit those lines to create a prediction grid. Um, as I said, uh, uh, this is a standard uh, uh, script for uh, creating a prediction grid. The only line that you wanted to change are the grid resolution, which is here. Uh, I put 50 meters, but uh, you, can, you can change it. Uh, and another change that you, you can do if you have other type of data is changing the coordinate system. In my case, is fine this coordinate system so I will just submit this entire line and if you take a look at the folder here is your prediction grid.asc and this will be used at the end for uh, uh, creating the map. Now we can start with the cock rigging. For starting with the cock rigging the first thing to do is overlay uh, the uh, covariance data with the data file, so I can just use the function overlay and create a new column zinc.asc in the data file. So I, if I take a look at the data file, as you can see here, there is a new column. And uh, do the same with the uh, prediction grid. Now, the main difference uh, between the co rigging with GSTAT and uh, the universal rigging or, or the ordinary rigging that uh, uh, we saw in the previous two lessons uh, is that uh, because you have to compute uh, 
um, the cross variogram, you need to create uh, um, a GSTAT object with uh, both the data and the covariates. In order to create a GSTAT object, you can use the function GSTAT. Uh, within the function, you have to give an ID uh, to the variable or covariate that uh, you are using. In my case, is lead. Uh, the formula, in this case, uh, because lead is uh, um, dependent only by itself, uh, is lead equal 1 and uh, the data file in which uh, you can find uh, those data. And then you can add uh, another uh, variable or covariates uh, by just uh, typing the function. Uh, the first element is uh, the gstat object that you already created. Uh, so in this case, the, the, the gstat uh, knows that uh, these new covariates uh, need to be added uh, to the, the previous created object. So I just uh, give it another ID, another formula, and the same data set. If I just submit these two line, as you can see here, he has created this object. I, now we can uh, start uh, fitting the variogram. So the first thing to do is uh, uh, create the variogram object. Uh, in my case, I want to use all the default parameters. Of course, you can uh, tweak uh, the, all the parameters that you need uh, for the variogram uh, by just uh, typing help uh, with the function variogram and see all the available options. Uh, in my case, I want to use all the default, so I just uh, type variogram G and plot the object variable that I just created. Here you can see that there are three windows, two for uh, the variogram, the univariate variogram of the uh, property LED and zinc, and one for the cross variogram uh, of uh, both uh, of the variable and the covariates. And this uh, will be the, the one that we, we are going to use it for uh, the co-creating. So now we can uh, uh, fit the linear model of uh, co-regionalization. In order to do so, you need to um, add a new information to the uh, GSTAT file. In this case, you need to add the variogram model. You can use the, fu the function VGM that we used in the previous two lessons uh, to create the variogram model. Uh, in my case, uh, because uh, there are two variables, instead of using the variance, I use the covariance of the two variables. The model is spherical because, of course, uh, I saw that uh, um, in, in this image, I saw that the, maybe the, uh, there are a good probability that the spherical model is the best uh, choice. So you can just type spherical model uh, and the, the range and the nugget uh, are the same and as in the previous two lessons. So you can just uh, um, submit this line and uh, with this line uh, I uh, said to the, to the program that he has to add to the object G a new, uh, a new line with the model of the variogram. And then I can use the function fit LMC, which is fit a linear model of co-regionalization, and uh, give it the name of the variogram object, the name of the GSTAT object, and the model of uh, the variogram. If you plot the variogram with uh, the model, which in this case is G model, because there is uh, a column within uh, the object GSTAT that you already created, named model, if you plot it, you can see that he has plot the variogram with the model for each one. So now we can just uh, predict uh, um, the property of interest using the co-creaking uh, in uh, the prediction grid that we created before with the function, instead of a function creak, we use the function predict gstat, submit this line, you have to wait a little bit, and then you say that he has used the linear model of co-regionalization and the co-creaking. So now we can uh, use the um, a simple uh, validation, um, excluding the 10% of our data, as uh, I showed you before. So we can just create in a training and a test data set, creating a new GSTAT object uh, with uh, 
the lead and the zinc just for the training uh, data and not for the entire data set. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, creating a linear model of co-regionalization for the training data set. And here you can see they are very similar, of course, because I just secured the 10% of the data and predict, uh, predict the variable interest in the test data set. We can uh, um, use uh, the two goodness of fit indexes that I showed you in the previous two lessons to uh, assess the, the goodness of fit of the validation. In this case, it's not uh, the best uh, goodness of fit, but anyway. And then the root mean square deviation, which is of course very high. And then we can uh, plot uh, uh, and save our variogram model. In this case, I want to save uh, a, a JPEG. So I will just uh, use the function JPEG to save the variogram object. And uh, we can also save uh, the map uh, with the uh, lead prediction, which is uh, this one that I, I show you here. So we can just submit this three line to save the image and also save another image for the error associated to the prediction. If you take a look at your folder, now there are three images. The, fir the first is the variogram. And uh, there is the, the same image with the, the model, the variable with the model. The second is the prediction map. You see, here it is. And the third is the error map. To conclude the lesson, I want to show you the references uh, uh, at the end of uh, um, the script, uh, which are um, the first is, of course, the book from uh, Bivan Pebesma and Gomez Rubio, uh, which is uh, very useful for all the, the part that I show you in this uh, uh, video tutorial and uh, for much, much more. Uh, the second is uh, um, the GSTAT uh, vignette, which is uh, um, a description of uh, the Muse dataset. Um, and the, the last two are two uh, PDF with um, uh, much more information about the co-rigging uh, if you want to, uh, you know, deepen your knowledge.